faucet aerators. If you're here, you know you need to clean or replace these periodically. How often you do so really depends on your quality of water. But I'm guessing you're here today because you're having a problem. You can access yours, and I'm here to help. So let's jump right in. Sometimes you're faced with an aerator that you can't quite get to because you can't get the cover off. If you're faced with that situation, you might try a rubber jar opener. If that doesn't work, you'll have to resort to pliers. Now, not just any pliers, you want pliers that have a rubber or plastic tipped handle because we're not going to use the jaws because it's quite obvious that the jaws would tear up this nice looking faucet. So what we're going to do is we're going to sandwich the tip between the handles. We're going to squeeze it gently and now just loosen it up. Now don't squeeze too hard, especially if you have long handles because you do have enough leverage there that you may actually bend the metal and then you may never get it out. Now you might run into a faucet that you think doesn't even have an aerator such as this faucet here. Well actually it more than likely does. It has what's called a cash aerator and you'll need a cash key to remove it. I highly recommend this 4-in-1 cash key they're inexpensive, so you can afford to keep one in every room of the house that has an aerator like this. You just insert the tool until you feel it uh, lock in the grooves. Once you get it far enough out, you can then just use your fingers And now we can either clean or replace the aerator. One last tip. If you choose to clean instead of replace your aerators, try soaking them in white distilled vinegar for a couple of hours. It'll save you a little bit of elbow grease. Well, if you found this helpful, please show us some love. Click that subscribe button down below and then click that notification bell. I would really hate for you to miss out on future quick tip videos. As always, I'm Chris with Toolbox DIY. Thanks for watching.